Okay, so I'm back. We've got Sun Flash. I don't know how it'll end up looking on the finished product, but I think you can handle it, right? Sun Flash, less Sun Flash. Let me see if I can move my chair. I have to be very careful because for those of you who are not in the Facebook group and don't know what's been going on with me, I'm, I've been hospitalized for back pain several times in the last couple of weeks. So, yeah, I'm... I'm hopped up on painkillers, so this is going to be a fun video. Anyway, so I came up here. My hair looks really cute in person, but for some reason on camera it's not translating, and it's in my face. Now, I've had people ask me how I do this, so I'm just going to show you. It's very easy. It's not complicated. It's not a braid. You just... Here, this would be better without my glasses on. You do this. bit. And then if you have really short hair like mine, you just grab. And these are, these are like my favorite little clips. They have, um, if I can get one off of here. See, they have these little teeth on the back and they've gotten stuck together. So they look like a regular little alligator clip, but they have these three, so they hold more hair. And then you can get it up off your neck. So anyway, while I'm doing this, today I'm going to talk to you about the Maluna Cup. Uh, because I promised that I would do a review on the Maluna Cup. I've had this Maluna, I think it was, I think it was actually the second cup that I ever got. I got it from a D-stash on a Facebook group called Cup Love BST. And after I finish fiddling with my hair, uh, I will come back and talk to you about it. Okay, so Maluna Cups. Maluna is a very, very popular brand of menstrual cup, and um, they are manufactured in Germany. Um, and these are the cups that we talk about that use TPE instead of silicone. So they use, um, it's thermoplastic elastomer. And um, the reason they use that instead of silicone is just that in Germany, that is their surgical material. Um, you know, rather than making uh, implants and things that you put in the body out of silicone parts, um, they make them out of thermoplastic elastomer. Um, and actually, I read some studies back in the beginning of all this when I was looking into alternatives. And thermoplastic elastomer actually has fewer allergenic reactions than silicone, which has almost none. So medical grade silicone, TPE, very safe materials. And we're talking about extraordinarily, extraordinarily rare people in the world that would have a problem uh, with either one. So they're extraordinarily safe for people who have allergies, people who can't use other things or who have sensitive skin. Anyway, and so TPE works just like silicone. Um, I find that when I go to sterilize this cup, which I do in boiling water the same way I do my silicone ones, um, it floats more. So I have to actually do the trick where you put it in a whisk to keep it in the boiling water because it floats more than the silicone cups do. Interesting. I got this cup in a D-stash from a group called Cup Love BST, and BST stands for Buy Sell Trade, and it's a place where people um, just specifically buy, sell, and trade uh, new and D-stashed cups. Um, and there was a young woman who had gotten this cup, and I think she got a different one that she preferred, and she was selling this um, for much less than retail, plus the reason I really wanted this one is because on the U.S. site we didn't have... Um, the glitter. Can you see the glitter in that one? And I'm sorry, it's a glitter cup. I had to have it. So, um, so I purchased this from her. So I don't have the original bag that it came in. I'll put a shot in here somewhere if I can find a good photo uh, from Maluna. Uh, I will put down a, a picture of what the pouch that Maluna cups come in looks like. It's a, a cloth stretchy um, navy blue pouch that has um, purple satin strings if I'm not mistaken. I'll get a picture for you and put it here. Okay, so this is a picture of the Maluna pouch that any cup you order from Maluna will come in and um, they've changed the size over the years but the appearance of it kind of stays the same. And then, um, so I just made this one out of a pair of my daughter's old jeans and I really, I love this little guy. This is just my little pouch that I made for, for my Maluna. Um, okay, so let's talk about why I like this cup. This was one of the first cups that I got after getting rid of my Diva uh, because the Diva was just too long for me as a lower cervix person. This one is a Maluna 
uh, size large um, with the classic um, firmness. Now, the thing that's unique about Maluna, other than the TPE being a different material than most of the other cups available being silicone, is that Maluna comes in a variety of different sizes and, and shapes, and they also come in a variety of firmnesses. Firmnesses, is that a word? I think it is now. They come in the sport firmness, which is very firm, and was created for people who do yoga and running and cycling and things like that, where um, strong pelvic floors compressing or odd positions that you're in doing gymnastics, things of that nature, might cause leaking in a cup that wasn't as firm. So for people who require a very firm cup, they have the sport resistance. This is the classic resistance, and I would say that this is somewhere in between the lunette and the schoon in resistance. It's relatively firm, but it's got a lot of give, and it's very comfortable, I find. Very easy to do any kind of fold with that you want to do. This is just the punch down fold, which is the one I use. Uh, you can do that. A C fold very easily. You can do a seven fold quite quite easily. Um, so I like the classic resistance. It's one of my favorites. And then they also have a soft resistance, which is a much squishier cup. And I've not touched or felt one of those. But I'm also going to put a picture in here of uh, something that Maluna provides. My software's freaking out, so it's a good place to get to a new clip. Anyway, they provide a sample ring which you can purchase from them at a very low cost. And they'll send you, um, they're not usable because they'll have holes in them, but they're on, looks like a giant key ring. And it'll give you an example of every size and every firmness that they have available. And I'll put a picture of what one of those looks like. I think one of the reasons I put off doing this review was because I meant to order one of those so that I could show you. And I may revamp this in the future, but it was time to talk about Maluna. So let me show you that picture and start a new clip. Okay, this is an image of the sample ring that comes available from the Maluna US store. And the entire set is $7.50 and you can get brochures and stuff with it. But you can also specify for lower cost than $7.50 if you just want particular ones to look at examples of. So you can customize it. Okay, so I never got one of those. This is the only Maluna product that, that I have experience with. But it is still one of my favorite cups and I'm not sure how I've managed to go this far without talking to you about it, it I, I can't really tell you why it never came up. I use this cup almost every cycle at least one day. And what I like about this cup, um, it's interesting, it only has two uh, air release holes on it, but it opens extraordinarily easily. And I think it might be because, um, I don't know if you can really tell, uh, but the the rim, which is quite pronounced, and usually I find that tremendously uncomfortable, but because the rim is pronounced, it gives a little bit of space. So you see that little triangle there in between my finger and the body of the cup. That tends to make enough air for it to open up quite well, quite easily inside the body. But for some reason, the TPE does a better job, I find, of softening with body heat. So it's really, this classic resistance is nice because when you insert it, it's nice and firm and it pops open very easily. It's, you know, one of those kind of guaranteed open kind of cups in my experience. So it opens up really well, but then as, you know, time goes by and you've worn it and it comes to your body temperature, this rim gets very soft. So even though the rim provides excellent opening and, and structure and helps you get a good seal, um, it gets soft so it doesn't poke me and it doesn't provide that pressure on the back of the urethra that I experience with, for example, my lunette. Um, so that, that cup is just the size of the lunette. It, it, it just doesn't fit my body well for that purpose. It tends to provide bladder pressure and, and I don't like that because then when I go to toilet, I have to remove the cup to accomplish my business. Um, there goes the software. Do you see what I'm dealing with here? Okay. I'm going to start another clip. Ugh, so tired of this. Okay, so I can't, you know, I, if I'm going to the toilet, I don't want to have to remove my cup necessarily. If it's not time to remove my cup, I don't want to have to deal with that. But with some of my cups that I've tried, I've had to do that. And with the Maluna, I don't, even though it has this pronounced ridge on it, and I do get a very good seal with it. Um, I've not had that issue because the TPE, to me, just gets really soft and comfortable, and I don't feel this cup. Also, it is shorter than the Diva. Now, there are certain days of my cycle where my cervix drops low enough 
that this one is too long for me and those are the days that I end up with my spoon or my Lily Compact or just not going with a cup at all. But I do, that's relatively rare and those are really low cervix days and so for most people, even people with a low cervix, this cup is going to take care of you. Now this cup came with the stem already trimmed and that didn't bother me. Uh, I would have probably trimmed it myself anyway. Uh, but Maluna also has a variety of stem choices and I think that's really kind of interesting. They have a ball stem and a ring stem and then a standard stem and if I'm not mistaken you can buy one stemless. Um, but the, the grip rings on it are very, very pronounced and nice. Let me see if I can get a good focus. There we go. So you can see these are, are quite nice grip rings. So even stemless, unless you had a tall cervix and you need the stem to retrieve your cup, um, the, it's perfectly great with or without a stem. Um, so I highly recommend that you go and look at the Maluna website um, at the variety of things that they have available because they're high quality, they're highly regarded. I've never had anybody complain about a Maluna cup being poor quality. They, I mean, that whole stereotype about German engineering is real, y'all. Um, th these are wonderful. They really are. And this is one of my go-to cups. I do wear this one when I tend to find, if I'm having a day where I'm super sensitive, my Schoon Cup does still have a stem on it. And I haven't clipped it off because I usually don't feel the stem. But if there are days where my Schoon Cup is irritating me, sometimes this one will take care of me. And I don't really know why because the Schoon is so squishy and soft and it's definitely my favorite. But this one... This one is a lifesaver from time to time, and I'm not really sure, other than those vague kinds of things that I can tell you, it's definitely a good option. Um, and now they have a Maluna US website, so people in North America can obtain uh, the Maluna Cup without paying international shipping costs. Now, as for Canada, I need to look into that. I need to see what our Canadian people would, would have as far as shipping goes with Maluna. I'll look at their website, and if there's anything pertinent to can Canadian shipping, I'll let you know. Um, but the German website uh, services Europe, and uh, the U.S. website, as far as I know, services North America. Um, and so now we can get these pretty easily. And they come in a variety of colors, and of course there's this glorious glitter. I think the U.S. website has a couple of colors now, but it's mostly the clear. Um, and I don't think we have the glitter. There goes my software again. Seriously, y'all, this is just... It's because I'm having a bad day. It's because I'm in pain and I'm on drugs that my software is doing this. Okay, so the one last thing I want to talk about before I get into showing you pictures is cost on Maluna. Because that's one of the greatest things about Maluna is that of the highly reputable brands, they are cheaper. You can get um, a cup like this one if you're in Europe. I think you can still get the glitter one. But if you are in the United States, um, if you want the glitter, you'll have to go somewhere else. The U.S. website sells clear and amethyst, which is purple. Um, but you can get this cup for $24.95 U.S., whereas, for example, the Diva Cup is usually $35 to $40. Um, the Lunette is $40. Um, the Lily Cup is $40-ish, you know, with an $39.95 or something like that, you know, for most of those cups. Whereas the Maluna you can get for $24.95. And of course, the FDA has rated them for a minimum of three years, but I know people who've used cups for five solid years and never had any kind of a problem or any indication that they need to stop and get a new one. So cups are long-term and they're, if you find the right one, it's a one-time purchase, you know, unless you wanted two of them as a backup. So that's the other thing about Maluna that's great is that of the cups that you can be absolutely confident that you're getting something safe and well-made and high quality and that you don't have to worry about anything shady or that it's a company that's cut some corners, uh, Maluna is solid and you can get them for $24.95. So uh, U.S. from the U.S. website. So um, I'm going to go into, to avoid any more of this video skipping, I'm going to do some voiceover over some pictures provided by Maluna um, to talk to you about their different shapes, their different sizes, so that you can kind of get a visual on the differences that they offer. Because that's what makes Maluna so unique, is that they have so many different sizes and firmnesses and options to choose from. So I'm going to move over to photographs and do voiceovers on that to, to finish this out. Uh, so thanks. I will see you again soon with something. Oh, oh, in fact, I'm probably going to do another really short one today on this. It came in the mail, y'all. This is my final stain treater for my next stain treater video. 
So my next cycle, I'm going to use this one, and then I can do my part two stain treater video. All right, so let's get into pictures of Maluna stuff. Okay, so Maluna has four different sizes and two different types of cups and three different firmness levels. Uh, the row on the top is their standard size shape, and the row on the bottom is their shorty shape. And the shorties are made for people who have uterine prolapse or very low cervixes, cervices, and need a much shorter cup than anything else that's on the market. And all of these are marked with the um, capacity and the diameter and the height from rem to stem. My cup is a size large and it's the standard shape, which is the third one from the left on that top row. And you can see it has a diameter of 44 millimeters. It has a rim to stem height of 51 millimeters. And then the capacity is 34 milliliters. Um, so on my really low cervix days, it tends to be a little bit long, which is why it's not my favorite everyday go-to cup. Uh, the shorties are unique to Maluna, and they are, I, I'm pretty sure, they're the shortest cups available on the market. So for people who can't find one that works for that reason uh, and still want to use a cup, um, these are some options for you. Okay, so let's talk about stems a little bit. This is um, one of the three types. This is the one they call their stem, and it is the most typical of all the other cups. This is the ring style stem, or they call it a handle, uh, and some people like that because it's a good way to get a grip. And this is the most popular they have, and it's the ball shape, which just is a little flattened sphere on the bottom to pull from. So I think that's just about everything that I could think of to tell you about uh, Maluna Cups. Um, they're just, you know, they're one of the most popular brands for a reason. They're high quality, everybody can trust them, they've been around for a good long while. Um, the TPE is a high quality material, you can trust them, um, and I personally really like mine. Um, I've considered getting a shorty, but because of the heaviness of my cycles, I just, I, I think the shorty would be too low capacity for me, and that's the reason that I haven't pursued that further. Uh, but for people who have a moderate flow, um, I'm sure the shorty would be quite adequate, and uh, a lot of people swear by their Maluna shorty cups. So, but this is mine. It's the standard Maluna large uh, glitter cup, uh, classic firmness, and I really do enjoy it. And on the days when my cervix is not too low to use it, it's, it's a wonderful cup. I highly recommend them. So for cost also, they're just an excellent choice. Um, I think that's about it. Um, if there's anything I didn't answer about Maluna or questions that you had about Maluna, um, unfortunately for people in Canada, as I discovered looking through this today, uh, you can't order one to a Canadian ad address from a Maluna store. There goes my phone. I'm telling you. It was okay, though. It was Mr. Nix, so he's allowed to call me whenever he wants to. Okay, so finishing up. Large, standard, classic firmness. Really like this cup. Highly recommend this cup. Um, lots more color options available from the German website. Um, if you want to get a cup in a place that Maluna does not ship directly to, uh, you can check on um, you know Facebook groups like uh, the Cup Love BST. Um, and if you want a new one as opposed to a de-stashed one, sometimes those do come up. Um, and if you wanted to just buy a new one, there are several third-party websites that sell them, such as, uh, I think it's called Feminine Wear. Uh, out of the UK, and I know that they ship internationally. So you can get a hold of one, it's just going to be a little more difficult if you're from a country that is not serviced directly by uh, the Maluna shop. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I'll put pertinent links down in the description, and thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to talking to you about the new cleaner I got. <laughs> Bye.